Tonight, an inside look at a SUNY Potsdam residence hall which caught fire over the weekend. We get an inside look at some of that damage. 7 News reporter Lexi burning live in Potsdam from campus with more Lexi. Jeff, the fire originated on the third floor of Van Hoosen Hall. Police tape is still up and broken windows are covered in boards. Tonight, we got to take a look inside. Well, this is the fire compartment. A look inside burned books, boarded up windows and black walls. Room 304 at SUNY Potsdam's Van Hoosen Residence Hall. The alarm head in this room triggered, set off the, the system in the building, everybody evacuated, no injuries. The smoke detectors went off around 618 p.m. Saturday night, bringing an almost immediate response. We had fire crews on scene probably within three to four minutes of the, the detectors going off. The fire in this dorm led to the evacuation of 62 students and some pets. Some students won't be back in these rooms this semester. We have 10 students in the affected area that definitely can't return. And there's eight others, I think the number is eight others that based on only having one female bathroom up there, we have to relocate also. Students on the second floor of Van Hoosen were able to move back in on Sunday. The fire, for the most part, didn't go far. This room across the hall, relatively clean. You should close your door to your office or your room when you leave. And this is part of the reason why. And you'll see as you look into the other rooms, even the rooms right next door, fire damage in this room contained to this room. And on the other side of these fire doors, a hallway nearly left unscathed. So when that smoke detector goes off, it cuts power to this magnetic holder here in the box. And then the door swings, closes and latches. The real emergency proved why fire drills are so important. When I arrived to campus, fire department doing their thing, UP doing their thing, and um, we had a number of professionals from other areas on campus that stepped in to help that didn't need to be here but chose to be here to help. And that was very, very appreciated as we were trying to operate very quickly to get our students something. While everyone is physically fine, there is an emotional toll this can take on someone. The college is providing on campus counseling, and as far as the investigation goes, the state is taking the lead. We reached out to state fire. It couldn't provide any more comments. Meanwhile, SUNY Potsdam had no comment. Jeff. Lexi Bruning live on the campus here in Potsdam. Thank you.